Shook it up. Good morning, lovely people. Today is Friday. We're going into the docks of beyond. Now it's Friday. It is the 5th of June and I'm up and I'm obviously looking delightful because I haven't had a shower yet. I'm just going to hop in the shower. But I thought I would hop on here, start the vlog. Oh, natural. And to be honest, I've just been woke up in a bit of a funk. So instead of moping around, feeling sorry for myself, I tidied up, I made the bed, I put away laundry, I tidied up downstairs. We've got guests coming to stay this weekend, Lex's mum and best friend, uh, the sun is shining. So I'm not gonna stay in my funk. And my advice for you, if you wake up in a funk, because sometimes you just wake up and just aren't feeling it. There's no reason, you haven't had an argument with anyone. Sometimes you just wake up feeling a little bit, ugh. And that was me today, but I am counting my blessings. I live in a beautiful house. I get to share my life with my best friend. I have two gorgeous dogs who are waiting very patiently downstairs to be brought for a nice walk. And um, everything is good in my life. So I'm not going to dwell on feeling a little bit blur for no reason, because what's the point? Life is short, so we're gonna get up. We're gonna be positive, because that's what we do. I'm out of the shower, I'm feeling all refreshed. I've put on some moisturizer and you can see my skin is not perfectly clear. So we're gonna just conceal the blemishes. But eyelashes on bleak, brows looking good. All thanks to YLB, if you're in the UK, come and get your eyebrows, lashes done by the geniuses at YLB. And now, yeah, let's, let's make this pretty. If you'd like to see more makeup tutorials from me, hit me up down below. If that's not what you're into, also tell me. I like you to be interactive. I want to know what you want to see on my channel because I've been avoiding recording because I didn't know what I wanted to record and I suppose I get feedback from you guys so if you just let me know what you'd like to see on the channel and um, what you think other people would be drawn towards. I'm going to do a little bit of an at home workout for you guys today um, because I think a lot of times people don't go to the gym because it's quite intimidating and um, there's lots of things we can do at home. After being at the wedding and the hem party, I was talking to a lot of the girls who are not fitness influencers. They don't go to the gym every day, but they do want to look and feel good. I, I shared with them some of my simple kind of body weight exercises that you can do to strengthen your glutes, strengthen your core. And I think I'll just show you guys as well because they are quite helpful and there are days where I don't want to go to the gym because it's too nice outside or it's too rainy outside or I'm just feeling like I don't want to go to the gym. So to have a few um, simple exercises that you can do at home to feel good about yourself. Transformation complete. I feel a bit more human again. Oh, hair curled, makeup on. That is how you beat the blues. So since I am here in my underwear and um, I haven't done one in a while, I'm gonna do a quick physique update just to show you guys where I'm at. I'm feeling super confident in my body right now. Today I weighed in at 120 pounds, but I'm varying between 116 to 120 pounds, depending on hydration levels, all that kind of jazz, and whether I've trained the night before, how tired I am. But um, that's kind of like where I want to be between 116 to 120 pounds. It's my happy weight, it always has been. I always feel my best. I always fit in my clothes the best at this weight. So yeah, I'm just trying to maintain that. I'm going to gradually start increasing my food. But I just wanted to show you how I look because I'm not perfect, but I feel super confident and I'm accepting the fact that yes, I have stretch marks, yes, I have jiggly fat bits, I have cellulite, and that's okay. Don't focus on what you want to change, focus on what you feel comfortable with, and the rest will just come, and you just learn to, the more you tell yourself that you love 
how you look and how you feel, the more it becomes imprinted in your mind. So it is a thing of telling yourself daily, I feel good, I look good, and then it starts to kind of reiterate itself into your brain that that's how you feel. And it is just a positive mindset over literally diet or training or anything else. Feeling good about yourself comes from telling yourself that you feel good. So that being said, here's my physique update. Damn that smell, saffron sea, while I'm wet up for slim and a sim basti, a sim pumpkin, while I lot of long jay, the command coat shallow where the crew and I lay, turn at the stage, sing a son of the smell, bump their hair when it's selling our seats, and I make them bend, get my ass started with a pair like that. Man, I think I'm a dragon, hey, I'm a dreamer, now my wake up in the state that I've been doing too much. All the things on me to flourish, you ain't I actually got some exciting news. Exciting for me, maybe not so much for you, but I am officially a women's best athlete, which means that I, number one, have a discount code for you guys, so you can get 10% off using my link and my Laney10 discount code. So go use it, support me, because you love me. And I'm just gonna show you what I got, because I just kind of got a selection of products from them just to sample stuff because it was my first order and I wanted to show you. I got this bra, which is actually really nice and supportive. Um, a selection of different flavours of the protein powders. So um, this is the chocolate coconut, the peanut butter marshmallow, because I love peanut butter, and the salted toffee pretzel. This by far is my favorite at the moment. It just tastes really good. It has a very salted, caramelly kind of toffee taste to it. And um, the other two flavors are really good too, but um, yeah, this is my standout favorite. One thing that I am extremely surprised about is the flavor of the protein powders. They just, they just have a very distinct flavor. You could actually tell straight away what each protein powder was and what it tastes um, from the taste, which I find like some of them have like kind of an artificial, could be vanilla, could be anything kind of flavor, but these very distinct flavors, very impressed. Another thing I got, you know I love my collagen and I take it every day because, hello, I am 37 and I have depleting levels of collagen in my body, so true beauty, it's a collagen supplement and um, this is like a mango flavor, which I didn't think I'd like because I don't normally like fruit flavored things, but just with some water and some ice in it in the morning with my vitamins, it's actually really good. And it genuinely tastes good. Every All the flavors are just so, oh, it's only, they're just like, they're not subtle. They are like, you know what you're tasting when you taste it. Then I also got this, this is an amino energy. I haven't tried it yet. I've stuck my finger in it. It's watermelon flavor and it does taste like watermelon. As I said, again, flavors on point. But um, it has, it's BCAAs and it has caffeine in it. Um, I do drink a lot of coffee, so I do like to keep tabs on how much caffeine I'm intaking. So that would be kind of like pre-workout energy plus um, boosting your immune system with BCAAs. If you are into like pre-workouts, things like that, that would probably be a good idea because it doesn't have any of the um, things that make you feel tingly because I don't like them when they have a lot of the tingly additives in them. I don't know which ones they are, but there's not in that. It's just caffeine, BCAAs, so it's all health and good. So, oh, Bailey's being ridiculous. You okay, Bailey? You okay? Just sunbathing? Yeah, just a bit of sunbathing. Okay, while your daddy mows the lawn. So I haven't tried any of these. I thought I'd try them today for 
when I have my camera out. So we have salt and vinegar, paprika, cheese and onion crisps, the three different flavours. I just got one pack of each to see what I like. And then I got two of the protein bars, which are the chocolate hazelnut crunch and the peanut butter caramel crunch. So again, I'll try them again on camera so that I can tell you what I think of them. Um, they all have really good macros, which is good. Uh, the crisps are 2.8 grams fat, 3.7 grams of carbs and uh, 11 grams of protein per pack. So that's good and I've only heard good things about them. And then the protein bars, they're 15 grams of protein, I know that. Um, 6.1 gram of um, fat and five grams of carbs. So nice little snack for on the go. You know I like to have a protein bar in my handbag when I'm out and about so that if I go for a coffee and I don't feel like having junk while I'm out. At least I have my protein bar in my handbag. Yes, that is the dog staying hydrated in the sun because it's beautiful weather here in the UK. Hence why I'm in shorts. Yes, I've got cellulite. Does it bother you? Do my dimples in my legs bother you? Because they don't bother me because they're behind me. I can't, I can't see them. So if it bothers you, just look away because it's not bothering me. I'm wearing my shorts because it's lovely weather and we're going to show off the body. So we've got breakfast on the go for Lex is some Dr. Zach's protein bread, some cheese, streaky bacon in a sandwich all toasted up. And then for me, I've got some bacon medallions. I've got some scrambled egg whites with some of the Eatly cheese on some nimble bread with some Marmite and I'm gonna have this now with a cup of coffee. I've already had my collagen and one coffee. It's the second coffee of the day. I usually have about three coffees. What are we gonna do girls? We're gonna go for walkies. We're gonna go for a walk. Come on. So I'm in from walking the dogs and it's just such a glorious day out. Lex is outside mowing them. <laughs> Afternoon snack. I'm trying one of the peanut butter caramel crunch. See that. It's just kind of like a chocolate bar. You just have the crunchy aspect. Mm. Good macros, decent flavour. I give it a Seven out of ten. Won't be my favourite, but I'll definitely get it again. It's good.
Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. So those are just a couple of simple workouts that you can do at home and you can add in loads of different exercises to that and over the coming weeks I'm going to show you more and more simple at home exercises and all I did was simply add this resistance band for a little bit of extra resistance but you can do it with simply body weight but adding in the resistance band it's a little bit harder and they are very inexpensive to come by you don't have to go and spend a fortune on them you can just pick them up on amazon so we have a feast fit for a queen <laughs> i've got some chicken i've got some ooh, getaway flies some salmon we've got some homemade guac so i just got some avocado lime salt pepper and a little bit of onion we've got some of my greek salad big thing of pesto pasta and this is like my Waldorf potato salad and they're all super healthy super yummy and this is how you can cook for friends and family and have it healthy delicious fit in your macros enjoying time with friends enjoying some wine because the sun's out and you should just enjoy time with friends and family while you have it and while you have them yeah, I'm Superman, I spend my time flying high, going round, but I'm always getting wayside. Some people trying to shit on me, I said, girl, you can sit on me, cause bitch, they 